Okay, folks, this one's pretty grotty. Yeah, this will definitely need to be thrown in the bin ASAP. <laughs> but, you know, I'm trying to keep my costs down. I don't go to op shops anymore to buy items to utilise here. I find them off the street and anywhere else. That's for free. So, yeah. No, I don't want that. So, yeah. cost of living has gone up over over in recent times and I just haven't got that sort of money to splash around and I've decided to take time off work for indefinite because I haven't got time to go to work and come back and I've got to keep working on this so it's going to be even tighter on the budget folks the budget's going to be really tight so I have to fucking just keep going because I'm trying to get on the 6 o'clock news on Channel 9. You could say I'm taking a bit of a calculated risk with my money and my time and all well, time I need. And I'm trying my best. I really missed my partner Luigi who I'm trying to get in contact with through the news. I don't know where he is. I don't know what he's doing. Let's see how we go with this. Um, an interesting piece. Noodles. Foreign noodles. It's a bit dirty and grungy inside. It's dirty. But basically, I'm really missing my friend Luigi. And I'm trying to get in touch with him. I don't know where he is. But I'm not going to give up hope, folks. I'm going to keep making these demos as much as I can. Using... Using... Um, ingenuity when it comes to sourcing materials for next to nothing. This cost me nothing because I didn't open it. I basically found it on the ground. It's probably too, the noodles are probably too hot for me anyway, the sauce. It's that kind of noodle, that foreign noodles. Um, really nice looking but probably too hot for my mouth. They look really quite nice, actually. Take out the brown and the mirror, not the mirror image, the, yeah. I don't know whether I'm going to keep it as a negative image or I'm going to make another negative image on top of that. Maybe add some yellow as the background colour. Okay. This is really quite an interesting package. Really filthy though, a bit old, off, off the street. That's the kind of shit that I use in much of my work because I'm trying to keep my costs low and get a lot of work done. Even people like Andy Warhol had to keep their costs down as well, if I remember correctly. So it happens in art quite a bit. Artists are not typically flushed with, flushed with cash to start with. So, yeah, that looks. I do prefer the original version. Um, that looks a bit too hot. Um, looks really quite interesting there. Oh, I know what I got to do to get make it less hot. We don't want it too hot looking, so we're going to just take out the huge some of that hotness. We're going to put it straight in the middle. See what we get. Looks too pink otherwise.
Yeah, I don't know if I like this version as much. Um, it doesn't look much the same, much different. Uh, it looks a bit less, you can get more of a bluey color with the background color that we used, the brown. Don't know if we like this version better. Wondering if maybe we can put in some more red. I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, photocopier art is often experimentation involved, so it's always good to have an, a bit of an open mind as to how things are going to turn out. Something different. Yeah, it looks shit ass actually. It looks too yellow. It looks a bit too bleh. Yuck. It looks shit ass. So we're gonna have to uh, put the red, take some of that red out. It looks shit ass. So we're just gonna take out some of that. Maybe take out more. I don't know if that's gonna work taking out more red instead of keeping it on the same setting that we had before but I'm really missing my partner Luigi and I don't know where he is so I'm trying to get out there on the six o'clock news and I think that looks a lot nicer taking out some more of that red I really miss Luigi so much and I don't know where he is so I'm trying to get in touch with him all that I can. I'm trying to put all my effort in to find where he is, to try and get my work out there. And I want to get recognised as an artist as well so I can make money and get off Centrelink. I don't want to be on the disability support pension and then have to re retire on the, ret on, the pe on the old age pension. I want to be independent. I want to be self-sufficient, uh, I want a better quality of life. Who doesn't, folks? Um, trying to get in touch with him. I don't know where he is. I'm, I'm nearly, well, I'm 51, folks. I'm not getting any younger. So I'm really lonely without Luigi and I've passed the prime of my life, obviously. Postmenopausal, folks. So I wasted my youth on shitty fucking lifestyle and the wrong types of relationships so I never had an opportunity to I had opportunities but I misspent them folks youth you know the old misspent youth except it's not something to be proud of or something to laugh about it's not funny for me I don't find that very amusing at all if anything I find it very sad and depressing that I misspent my youth accidentally accidentally not on purpose i got into a state of confusion and all this sort of shit so i'm not happy i'm not proud it's not a thing to be happy about to celebrate misspent youth a lot of people think it's funny to misspend their youth i don't think it's funny at all i don't think it's at all good uh it's not something i'm proud of except i have to fucking say that I'm a survivor folks and that's come up looking really quite interesting I think we can now call this demo quits